Hey there, this is Vanessa Deberlay and welcome to my channel. I want to share some ideas with you. I know that everybody's getting kind of scared and everything with the COVID-19 virus going around. Many people have lost their jobs and it really does affect some people in the sense that they go into um, like a rigor mortis, like, a, like this fear where they can't move. It's almost debilitating. And I, some people think outside the box and say, okay, what can I do within these circumstances? And either way, it's not right or wrong. It's just that we're all made differently. But I hope I'm reaching people who are feeling scared, feeling like this is it. They're just sitting there, don't know what to do. You're like frozen. There, there's always something you can do. And I, I'm, I'm going to start making my next few videos about jobs that you can do reality. I'm not, not, I'm not going to offer you to create a business right now. You're just trying to make some money and get it in your pocket. So that's what the next few videos are going to be about. It actually, um, Friday, another one is coming out step-by-step um, step, how to get on Facebook Marketplace because I do mention that today, but I'm going to go through the steps for you on Friday. So watch the videos. Um, there's a playlist at the end that also shares some other things that you can do on your phone. And I promise I will keep looking for things like what would I do if I were in your shoes? I'm blessed right now. I'm working from home. I live on a piece of land. We've got goats. We've got chickens. We've got a well. I mean, we're, we're sitting pretty decent. I, my children didn't come home from school and, and, and you know, make an upheaval in our lives. Um, the sad thing is I can't see my grandchildren. Um, so we have to do FaceTime. So the blessing there is we can, you know, see them on, on the phone. But start thinking about what can I do within this situation? And every person listening to this has a different situation. You have different abilities, different opportunities for where you live. But start thinking about yourself what can you do to make it better? And if you're blessed and you have your job and actually you're, nothing's changed, you're, you could still pay your bills, still have money, then you might start thinking about what can I do to help other people? And that's kind of where I'm at. And I'll share some things like that I've come up with for my life in my next videos as well. Now, I'm going to give you before this is... Before we move on, I was to give you a little bit of a disclaimer about what you're about to see. I was sitting in my barn yesterday and I went and got my phone... Um, and videotaped from there because the thoughts were on my mind at the time. So <laughs> I look a mess. I was out literally shoveling um, shit out of the barn. So to be honest, so that's where I do my thinking is when I'm doing my hard labor. So um, hopefully this is helpful for you. And please put your comments below so that we can, you know, help each other. There's other people that are probably thinking even more outside the box than I am, and please share your thoughts. All right, here you go. Hey, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and welcome to my channel. And today, we're making it real. I was out here cleaning the barn, and I have a lot to do, so it's probably going to be really late before my day is over, and I wanted to get my thoughts out right now for you. Um, a lot of people are, everybody's in a different situation with this COVID-19. Some people have lost their job. They're scared. They don't know what to do. Some people didn't lose their job. They're working from home. Everybody has a different situation. And I started thinking everybody can make it better no matter where you're at. And I'm going to give you some ideas that I have, especially how to make money. If you're one of those people that, you know, you've lost your job, you're waiting for some kind of check to come and you have integrity and you do want to pay your bills. Um, I, I hear people saying, you know, I'm not going to pay my bills for the next three months. And, and that's great if, if you're that desperate and you have to. But I think to have integrity, you should try try to do it and i'm going to give you some ideas those of you that are hoarders this is your time you have hoarded all kinds of treasures in your house get on facebook marketplace get on ebay get on craigslist and start selling your treasures i am a semi hoarder <laughs> i think i spent the first 50 years of my life buying and now i'm trying to get rid of it all but I, the last week, I did a little experiment. I just started going in the closets and here and there, and I have every day this week sold something and have already made like $500. One of them was a piece of furniture. It was an antique, I loved it, but I thought, let me see if I can sell it and you know, see what happens, because it doesn't make my heart leap anymore. And my point is, find things and sell them. Now you're probably saying, well, we have to stay home. You do, 
you're supposed to stay home except when you go out to get food or supplies. So what I do is um, if I'm mailing it, my husband will go to the mail post office and then we might, I might have him run an errand, like run to the grocery store and get something. Or, or I'll go out, we don't go together, I'll go out and I'll meet somebody at the Bob Evans parking lot or something like that. And then I give them their item. And then I go maybe to the Dollar Tree and get something. So each time we go, we have an Amish store here too. I've met people at the bakery parking lot. They're still open. And, uh, you know, everybody's kind of distancing themselves, um, you know, and, and you're making some money. You get to make some money, you sell something, and then you get to spend that same money on some supplies. So it's a win-win situation. And when I say supplies, um, don't go out and buy a bunch of toilet paper. That's not gonna help you make it. I want you to get a prepper mindset as you go through this as well. Um, yet the last time I went out, I went through my medical supplies. Like how are we doing on Band-Aids and um, peroxide and, and different things like that and mouthwash. Just think of things that you know, you might need, might not be able to get. I'm not saying hoard it, but just kind of go through and, and spend some money because that's what's going to keep the economy going. Um, so, all right, so let's say you're a millennial and you don't have a bunch of stuff hoarded and you want to find a way to make money. If I were living in a neighborhood and most neighborhoods have elderly people or maybe people who are shut in, put a note on their door. It, this is the perfect time you can say, hey, can I mow your lawn for you? Can I plant a garden for you? And they pretty much are on an income. Their income hasn't stopped. Most of them probably have social security coming in or you know some kind of bonds or something. They have a house, so obviously they have an income. So put a note on their door and say, hey, you don't even have to meet each other. You can talk through the door. They can leave money in the box. You could do the job and make some money. There's lots of things you can be doing right now. And elderly people need help. So this will be a blessing for them. All these people are looking for work. Now, don't expect to get paid $20 an hour. You know, you gotta remember you're helping an elderly person as well. So, you know, be reasonable. Everybody's situation will be different. Um, if you're living at home with your parents and maybe, you know, you're bored to death and you're dying because you can't go out, why don't you help your parents? Why don't you help do projects around the house to keep yourself busy? And maybe I have a, my, one of my granddaughters right now, she runs like crazy and now she's home. She's not, you know, going to her job. She's not um, doing all the activities from school. And what she's doing is she wants to go on a mission trip. So she's making craft items and selling them on Facebook. And people can, you know, buy these craft items from her, help her for her mission trip. And wow, she has all this time to do it, where before her schedule probably wouldn't have allowed her to have the time to make these beautiful pieces of string art. So think outside the box. I, I, I want you to not feel, don't let that fear um, debilitate you, but take it and put it to action and think, okay, what do I need? What am I afraid of? I mean, my husband and I are both over 50 and you know, we we have that sense of if one starts to cough, the other one's like, are you okay? Um, but you gotta, you know, everybody has that, but don't let it um, debilitate you. Get out and start doing things. I love how I'm hearing how people in neighborhoods are walking their kids and they're doing the teddy bear walk and putting teddy bears in the window. See, we can't participate in that. I'm actually thinking about putting a teddy bear in my window and then posting it on Facebook. So and we live out in the country, so nobody's coming by. They only come by to steal things. We've already had a couple things stolen. See, the integrity. We. This is how people find out what you're like, right? Um, but I wanted to share that. There is a way to make money. Put some, I, I hope, I'm praying over this, this video. I hope that people who need to see it, see it. And if you know somebody that doesn't, you know, they're just frozen, they don't know what to do, you know, feel, feel free to share it. And more than that, Share your comments below. Do you have other ideas? There are tons of ideas to make money online. We've all made those videos and I've got a whole, I'm gonna put it at the end, I've got a whole playlist of those ideas. If you wanna use your phone or if you wanna make some side money online, you don't have to start a business like I have or some other people, but you can still make some money on, on the side. You can <laughs> with your phone. So look at those if that's better for you. Maybe you don't wanna go out and do shitty work like I'm doing right now, um, hard labor. <laughs> Now, here's another blessing with my hard labor. I did have to share this. Um, you know, do you think I enjoy shoveling shit into a wheelbarrow? Um, no, but whenever I come out and do this work, I don't have to exercise in the morning. So I get my exercise, the barn gets clean, and I get to think. I get to think of ideas. So there's always good in everything, right? Okay.
You have a good one. Please put your ideas down below. I'm, I'm sure there are a slew of other ideas to help people. Not everybody thinks that way. A lot of people genuine, genuinely um, can't think when things like this happen and they really do get scared and I understand that. So you guys need to listen. They're just stay active, stay busy. It's just like a person who gets depressed. The best way to get out of depression is to go help somebody and you're just distracting yourself and, and you're doing something and you're not, you don't have time to think about it. And that's what you need to do. All right, guys. Thank you. Sorry about the outfit today, but, um, I just wanted to get that off my mind. Have a good one.